I'm going to try and show you how to use um, Audacity to export a WAV audio file and uh, then import it into Microsoft's movie editor. So over here we've got Audacity. Let's launch Audacity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, mix file that I've got created for my Elephant's Child um, movie that I made. Now here we are, you can see my audio track. I've got several audio tracks all happening at the same time here and they sort of blend together. Now I can't export audio files from Audacity straight into Movie Maker. It can't handle Audacity files, but what it can handle is WAV. So what I do here is I click Export as WAV and the computer says, well what do you want to call it and where do you want to save it? I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to call it My Mix and it's saved as a WAV file there so we click save and uh, it processes this. Now because WAV files contain a lot of information it takes a little while to process and depending on how fast your computer is this will take a few seconds. Wait for it to export the entire file as a WAV file there we are, 6, 5, 4, go on 4, 3, 2, 1 and then this file will have been saved on the desktop useful place for me to finish with. Well, okay, we'll close that now. And now let's open up our Windows Movie Maker. There we go. And uh, here is my Movie Maker screen. I've already imported all these slides into this. Well, let's import that audio file that we've just created. We called it My Mix because we were looking at the desktop. Now let's find it. There it is. My Mix WAV file. Import in it comes, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to start building my movie and I've got the timeline view here so we're going to start with that file and then we're going to have the second picture and then we're going to have um, this picture here and then we're going to import my mix wave file down here to audio music and then let's give it a test I can hear the music playing okay that's fine so that's working very nicely and maybe I'd like to have a fade between these two images here so I'm going to put a transition in here so if I come up here and I go for transitions and I'd like them to fade between the two let's find the fade drag it down there like that okay and now we go back to the start let's see what we get over here and we got a nice soft fade there between the two images brilliant fantastic. When I'm ready to finish this I want to, to publish the movie and uh, it gives you the options to what to do. If you go for um, publish to this computer is the best option um, give it a file name, tell you where you want to save it. Well I want to save this on the desktop so let's go up to the desktop. There it is, desktop OK, and next, and then it'll say, well, what do you want to do? Best quality for playing up on my computer. Well, that's the best quality. Actually, if you can, because this is just still images, you can compress this for um, use on VHS. Now, where is that? Yeah, VHS quality, and you click Publish, and that's it. So that's all you need to do, um, and it'll give you a nice compact movie there that will work really well on the web. So I hope that was helpful. I'm going to try and switch off Cam Studio now. Bye-bye.